Bush's re-election faced an obstacle even tougher than the flagging economy. The surprise third-party candidacy of a Texas billionaire named H. Ross Perot. Okay, well, we'll keep on going as long as you want to keep on going. Perot was an old Texas friend. But they came to believe that his candidacy was motivated by an incident that took place years earlier, when Bush was Ronald Reagan's vice president. The inside story of this is that Ross believed that there were live Americans still being held prisoners in, in Vietnam. We left them. We knew we left them. He came in to see President Reagan, and he wanted to go over there. And President Reagan said, well, we don't know that they're there, Ross. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll, I'll initiate a, an investigation. And the president ordered that review. It came back in. There were no live, no, there's not a scintilla of evidence that there are any live Americans in Vietnam. And I never will forget, we're sitting in the uh, Oval Office, the pre and the president says, fellas, we're not, I'm not going to approve this because there are none. You guys are from Texas. You know Ross Perot. You tell him uh, that we can't do it. So like a fool, I said, well, I'll do it, Mr. President. So I told Ross, I said, look, the president doesn't want, uh, want you going to uh, Vietnam anymore because we've got the new, new leaders on this thing. And, he took, I think he took it very personal. And uh, we, had, we had a friendship. He visited Barbara and me in Maine, and, and then he, he, uh, it, got, it got ugly and mean, and I didn't like it at all. I think that uh, Ross got pissed off and, and shot the messenger. <laughs> there is a difference between making computer chips and potato chips, even though the president hadn't figured it out. I don't know for the reason that he ran. I do know this, that he did have an animus toward President Bush 41 because of that episode. We are going to win all 50 states and drive everybody nuts. I don't think he thought he was going to win. I think he was driven by a personal dislike, a personal uh, resentment of me, you might say. And, and that in order to Clinton's benefit. But I, I don't know, I'd have to, you'd have to ask Ross, H. Ross. Congratulations, you have the worst blanking job in America.